Carol Stonnen. I'm a primary care nurse based in Gloucestershire. I use Pheno in my day-to-day -day work looking after asthma patients. I use it in a number of ways when I'm trying to diagnose patients and to monitor their asthma. It's a really useful tool when you're trying to, to either confirm a diagnosis or actually whether a patient's not got asthma. It's also really useful in helping patients to understand their disease, in working out whether they're, they're taking their medication correctly or whether there's a better way to use their medication. It can help us to work out whether they need to increase the medication or actually to help whether they need to decrease the medication. And it's a brilliant tool in helping them to work out how to manage their asthma better. From a patient perspective, it gives the patient an understanding of what asthma is, the inflammation that underlies their condition, and therefore how and when to take their medication. Many patients don't understand that asthma is an inflammatory condition, and therefore it's an anti-inflammatory medication that controls the disease. Once they get a better sort of visual picture of what the inflammation is, it really helps them to understand the importance of regular anti-inflammatory medication to control the disease, rather than relying on the rescue medication, the blue short-acting beta-2 agonist, that sort of firefights the, the, the disease rather than actually controlling the medication. It also helps them to adjust medication as per their personalised asthma action plan, because they can understand when symptoms increase, it's likely to be an increase in the inflammation, and therefore they need an increase in the anti-inflammatory medication. It's also a great tool when they're not taking their medication to get them to understand that we can see they're not taking their medication and to understand why they need to take the medication. All round, from a healthcare professional point of view, it gives you that extra component in the diagnosis. So once you've taken a really good history, you think a patient's got asthma, but you're not quite sure. You've measured their lung function, but that doesn't give you the understanding of the inflammation. It gives you that visual picture again as to whether there's inflammation in the lungs in keeping with the diagnosis of asthma. It guides your treatment decisions. So that might be treatment to start on the pathway of asthma. It might be treatment when you're trying to decide whether to increase treatment, or it might be, as I say, deciding to decrease treatment. All in all, it's a really useful tool when you're deciding, as I say, whether the patient's got asthma, whether you're increasing treatment, whether you're decreasing treatment. It's something I've used for probably around 10 years now, and it's something that if I don't have access to, I feel like I'm working with one hand tied behind my back. If you don't use Pheno, I, I truly suggest it's something that you add to your toolbox when you're seeing patients with asthma. And if you are a patient with asthma, then I'd suggest if you're, when you're talking to patients with asthma, I suggest that you really think about how you explain the disease to your patients and consider this as an extra tool in your explanation for patients. My name is Professor John Dickinson. Uh, I'm a professor at the University of Kent and I work in the School of Sport and Exercise Sciences. Uh, my job involves um, working with individuals that exercise um, and helping them overcome respiratory problems. Uh, a lot of those respiratory problems are related to asthma. We find that asthma is more common in athletes than it is in the general population. So we find ourselves um, trying to um, diagnose and detect asthma um, with, 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 with athletes quite regularly. Uh, we use um, exhaled nitric oxide monitoring uh, to support this diagnosis. It's really important to help us understand the type of um, asthma or exercise induced asthma that the individual has. And we also um, use it quite, quite frequently to track the impact of therapy with our athletes as well. Uh, and it can be really powerful for the athlete uh, to understand how effective their prevention therapy is being by using Pheno to look, um, and understanding how, how it's changing um, whilst they're using their therapy appropriately. Hello, my name is Julie Molest. I'm an asthma and allergy nurse specialist for a small local asthma charity. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, Pheno monitoring was used in our weekly asthma clinic both for diagnosis and management of asthma and supporting other diagnostic tests such as spirometry and allergy skin prick testing. For new patients, it's really useful to get a baseline pheno and then a few weeks later to see if there's any reduction in that level after perhaps starting a steroid inhaler. For other patients, pheno monitoring may well help with compliance issues when taking regular inhaled steroids. By seeing the changing pheno levels when they're taking their inhalers, 
it may help them take it on a regular basis. Thank you.